peace, love, and light, my beautiful collective energy. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping into the channel. My name is Q, and I am here to do a general reading. This reading will include both the yin and yang energy. I felt very inspired by spirit to provide this message. I was even provided the title of the reading, which is Agents of Provocateur. Um, be, mi be mindful, be very, very mindful of who you have around you. I have been picking up a lot of Fugazi energy as of late. Um, and agents are always people who kind of blend into your inner circle and pretend to be, uh, you know, they're rooting you on, um, they're as friends, family, people you can uh, really um, confide in. But what they really are doing is gathering information to use against you. So agent provocateurs are some of the individuals that many of you uh, may have around you unbeknownst to you. Uh, a little bit about me. My name is Q. I am a Scorpio. I channel messages intuitively. I am also a uh, clairaudient, so you will hear me reference music or songs that is playing in the background. And the way it works is the messages from the song, whether the title of the song, lyrics within the song, name of the artist, it will resonate with what I am channeling intuitively as well as what's coming out with the tarot cards. Right now, we have Ramp, and this is called Come into knowledge so I feel a lot of you all have been really going through as we know this very startling metamorphosis transformative energy you've been growing you've been evolving and you've been ascending into your higher self so you are tapping more into your spirituality you're tapping more into that Christ consciousness that God frequency you're asking the questions that other people seem to ignore things don't feel right you choose to trust that and it prevents and avoids uh, certain circumstances from happening in your life when you have agents of provocateur in your cipher those are people that are not only uh, preying on your downfall but they're also very calculated in their uh, in their connection with you so it's almost as if they are around you uh, just to learn you just to learn how to uh, perhaps sabotage opportunities or how to mimic you uh, to steal ideas uh, these are people who pretend to be friends these are people who could even be family members um, agents of provocateur will provoke you um, you'll notice that they will come out of the blue you could be having a good day shoot you a text message that is just very just left out of the left field and it is meant to provoke you to take you off of that natural high or out of that space of, of peace and contentment to intertwine with that very low vibrational energy that is what is a energy vampire that's exactly the definition someone who comes in and they take away they don't add on they don't add any value uh, be mindful pay attention to those type of encounters I don't care if these are people who you've known for a long time if you assess the relationships and the friendships and those dynamics that you have with these individuals and you find that there is always some disagreement or there's always some sort of opposition um, that is something that you need to pay attention to because anyone that comes into your life with that type of motive isn't there for a right reason they're there perhaps to teach you a lesson on how to protect your energy yourself your information um, but nothing more so when you see or you identify individuals within your cipher like that it is very very um, important for you to cut those ties because those are like karmic cords those are soul ties those are people who are trying to intertwine you uh, and have you wrapped up in a lot of the confusion um, so be um, be aware of your circles your cipher we know that 
Mercury retrograde is next month. And so that means a lot of that old energy, a lot of the, 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 the the um, negativity that you have really discarded yourselves of, um, your lives of, your circumstances of, there very well may be uh, another um, opportunity for these individuals or they will try to make another opportunity to re-enter your life, to cause more confusion. So it is very, very important to be mindful, to stay aware, alert, to not be taken down that that very dark path of repeating cycles that you've tried very hard, not even tried, that you've worked very hard to to complete, okay? Things have come full circle for a reason, and now you're going to be tested by spirit. You're going to be tested to see if you've actually learned the lessons that will discard these unnecessary individuals and circumstances out of your life for good. We are coming into the end of the year, and it's very important to cut your losses, to purge, to release, to let go of the things, the people, the circumstances, the ideologies, even your own belief systems that no longer serve you. It is very imperative or else you will find yourselves repeating a cycle and going around and around in a circle, uh, doing the same things that you have really worked hard uh, to to complete. So I, I, I'm sending this message um, almost with a very, um, it's like with, with a very strong, um, a strong forewarning, if you will, uh, to, to be mindful, be mindful of the people that you're calling friends, associates, colleagues, family, homie, lovers, friends, be mindful. And this isn't to pump fear. This is all about having knowledge, knowledge of self. If something does not fit in your life, in your in your paradigm as you are right now, and they're coming back with the same old, same old, then it is time to cut yourselves free, beloveds. Right now we have um, Nick Leon, and this is called Glass Walls. So these are people who definitely uh, throw rocks at you and then hide their hands. That's what I'm getting from. These are also people who are trying to block you because that word wall is really sticking out in my mind's eye. So as I said, they're trying to prevent you from succeeding. These are the type of people that, you know, they come off like they want to see you do good, but they don't want to see you do any better than them. They don't want to see you really succeed. They don't want to see you live out your dreams. They don't want to see you have success and they don't want to see you victorious. These are people that keep you in, you know, in, in, in their grip just so that they can monitor whatever you're doing, monitor your life so that they can try to figure out ways to sabotage or to um, manipulate situations. So these are predators. These are people preying on your downfall. These are people that are not having um, the best intentions for you. And right now we have, um, this is called Candyland. And the name of this song is called On the Shore. So when I think of the shore, I think of the water, the ocean shore. And that is a place of healing. That is a place of also um, performing release ceremonies. So it is definitely a time to release what no longer serves you. Um, it's also about purifying one's self, mind, body, and soul. So please take heed to these messages because, as I said, spirit has really led me to uh, imparting this knowledge, this jewel, this gem to you all. Um, and let's go ahead and proceed with the reading. Uh, so let's go ahead. I do want to do some house cleaning before we delve deeper into the reading. And I do call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun 
to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards, help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, ashe, ashe. If you are new here, my readings are general. So my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. All right. And my readings are also timeless. So whenever you find yourselves clicking on this video, that is the divine timing that was intended for you all to do so. So let's delve deep. Let's see what we got coming and going out going on. I like to start off with the uh, numerology deck, as you all know. So what I have here on the bottom of the deck is we have communication. This is the number 33. 33 reduces to six. Six is your first sigh. So I feel it will behoove you all to trust your intuition, to use discernment, um, not only when it comes to the people that you deal with in your day to day, but that's also including those who may come back from your past because that six is giving me like the six of cups. Um, so this is usually people from your past coming back, communicating with you, um, you know, trying to convince you of something because as I said, with this on the shore song. I feel these are individuals that you have been healing from. These are relationships that you have since released. Um, these are circumstances that has caused you to go into a space where you had to purify yourselves, cleanse yourselves, heal yourselves, balance yourselves, mind, body, and soul. So whatever communication that may come in, be sure to use your intuition. Be sure to use your first eye to see and pay attention to the actions more uh, importantly, not just the words, not just the, the um, verbiage that's coming out of people's mouths. Um, there are ulterior motives. There are people who are preying on your downfall, who are coming in with a very tricky type of energy. And I do feel um, they're trying to block opportunities or block you from your successes or from some sort of greatness. And it's because of nothing more than jealousy and envy um, because they've seen your growth. They see that you have been working very hard, very studiously, very diligently on improving yourself. And when someone is stuck in a in that rut of of um, of not growing, not ascending, not challenging themselves, they're always looking at others and projecting their insecurities on those who are doing the work. So be mindful not to take on anyone else's baggage because it isn't yours to carry Ashe. So let's tap in, tune in on the split. We have new beginnings. So I do feel that there are some beautiful new beginnings that um, these individuals are trying to sabotage you of. And I feel these are new beginnings that you have worked hard to obtain. Um, you won't have a new beginning if there wasn't a painful loss, loss or a painful ending. So you have absolutely done the work. And I feel because these are both solid colors, I feel that you have remained very true to yourselves. You've stood your ground, you've spoken your peace. And this one and this 33 reduces to seven. Seven is the crown chakra. So that speaks to your connection to your higher self. That speaks to your ascension, to your personal growth, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. And these are the things that would cause others who aren't doing their work to become very envious or very jealous of the ascension of the growth and of the opportunities that are now entering into your life, presenting themselves to you. So this would behoove you to protect your energy, to protect your cipher, to protect your information, and also protect yourselves from fugazes, from the agents of provocateur, people who come around with petty energy, people who come around not on your frequency, people who come around, like I said, trying to cause confusion or trying to have you thinking in a spirit of lack or trying to just have some sort of petty arguments. It's like life is too short to be sitting around arguing with you about nothing. You know what I'm talking about? Like I had a lot of challenging energy this weekend and that's why I feel spirit was leading me to lead um, to provide this message because I know that if I'm experiencing something, chances are the soul tribe, the collective is experiencing something similar. Um, and so it really was heavy on me to do this reading. I'm actually at work, but I am on my lunch break and spirit was like, do this reading real quick and, and let the message out. So pay attention to the signs and synchronicities, pay attention to your intuition and always use it discernment that is your inner gumption that is your soul speaking to you and your soul will never lead you astray 
Ashe. So let's see what we got coming and going out, going on for the collective yin and yang energy. Thank you, spirit. So I'm going to cut the deck. And we have a uh, dragon and uh, toast. <laughs> this is called dragon and toast. So the dragon is said to be very wise. Um, he is very wise because he has mastered all elements. So he's mastered air, fire, water, as well as earth. So I feel more that's like spirit telling you again to um to use discernment, you know, go with how you feel energetically around certain people, the vibrations people are giving off. Um, if something doesn't sit right, there's a reason for that. Um, don't go against it, you know, um, because people that are agents of provocateur, they are very, um, they can be very convincing. But when you go against your own better judgment and trust someone just because you want to be likable, um, you could find yourself in a little pickle, Ashe. So we have on the bottom of the deck, we have intuition. Didn't I just tell y'all? So intuition 22, this is, uh, this is really telling me um, that spirit is really giving you that warning. Um, don't go against it. Four is the number of the emperor. The emperor is a very powerful force. Uh, four is also the heart chakra. So this is about you taking action and doing things the way you feel is best for you. Um, the emperor does not take too kindly to anyone else's input because that is the leader. So spirit wants you to take the reins, take lead, take action and, and be, be forceful you know, be, stand in your power. Um, that, that, that emperor doesn't shy away. He isn't bashful. He's going to state exactly what it is. This four is also about that heart chakra, as I said. So this is about self love. This is about you asserting your position because of the love of self, because of your respect for self, because you are disciplined enough to have integrity, self-respect, self-love, self-care. So this is a very powerful energy. Spirit wants you to trust your intuition. Spirit is also telling you that you could be dealing with someone who is just as intuitive as you so they try to calculate your moves before you make them uh, because the two is associated with the high priestess so when you have energy that is mirroring I feel this is because someone is in your energy that is trying to mirror you literally by mimicking your style so when you have an emperor uh, uh, in a uh, high priestess, pardon me, or a high priest that is working against you, trying to match your vibration. I feel strongly. This is someone who is absolutely in opposition. As I said, an agent provocateur, they will, you know, be someone who shape shifts. Um, this is someone who has some sort of ulterior motive, someone who's has some sort of agenda. And that is why spirit is telling you to listen to your intuition. And that was also why I was picking up before I even touched the card to pick up on your intuition. So um, with love partnership here, I feel with that 26, that eight, this is re in, in regards to perhaps karmics. Uh, eight is really about, you know, the, the cause and effects of life. Um, so I do feel like spirit wants you to stand strong stand perpendicular in your square uh, this individual that I'm picking up on could be someone from your past that you have left behind and they could be coming back with a vengeance or coming back trying to uh, convince you that they've somehow changed but this could be because they could be watching um, but I feel they're trying to really cause uh, you to be in some sort of conflict um, mentally you know having you very uh, mentally conflicted or confused um, and that's why spirit is is forewarning you to use your own intuition and not allow someone's words to to uh, to entice or tantalize you or have you going against what you feel and know is best for you so if you have a past love that returns as I was saying or past in uh, this could even be just you know friends you know people that you love um, people that you care about these could be colleagues people that you've worked with and you know and and you've developed those loving connections um, but something happened where you had to part ways these individuals may have something against you um, and they're looking to you know 
one up you they're looking to get some sort of revenge they're coming back i heard with a vengeance so let's see what we got coming and going out going on and we have uh sage and the name of the song is called take care of you and so we know sages are um they're like you know the, these are the high priests if you will very very knowledgeable very spiritual um they have access to ancient information so spirit is telling you to tap into your christ consciousness that god frequency and my phone just chirped when i said sage and spirit is telling you take care of you meaning love yourself that four is very indicative of the heart chakra so this is about you having emotional intelligence as well to care for you first and foremost so spirit what messages do you have for my beloved collective yin and yang see that there goes that new beginning this person is definitely um trying to sabotage a new beginning these are the same two cards that showed up in the shuffle now i just shuffled and i did the the split of the cards and these same two cards are here so this is seven spirit is telling you trust your higher self with the song sage take care of you you are spiritually strong enough to deal with these individuals spirit has already worked with you through your process you've already purified yourselves as i've picked up on and with this communication there's going to be some communication that's going to be very um I'm hearing the word beguiling. It's going to be very, um, it's, it's, it's almost like they're trying to come back and gaslight you. But I feel like with your intuition, this 33-6, I feel like you're going to be able to see through it. This 2-2 two, two, and 3-3, three, three, they're really trying to mirror your energy, as I said. Uh, because when, you know, like they say, the, the, the you know, someone that's really um, in a competition is, they're going to try to duplicate, you know, they're going to try to imitate and duplicate that of what they see or deem to be a, uh, a competition. So they're going to try to act like you speak like you do what you do. Um, they're going to try to mimic you. And so we could see clearly everything that I've said. That's exactly what's happening because you got two, two and three, three straight out two, two and three, three reduces to 10. So this energy right here is telling me obviously that this was individuals that you have cut off people that you have since, uh, discontinued you know, disconnected from, you know, really to protect your energy so that you can focus on this new beginning, this new start, have this new voyage. These individuals don't want to be left behind because they see you are headed for, you know, a victory. They see that you are already on a brand new uh, journey and they don't want to be left behind. But as Sage is singing in the background, take care of you. You are focused on the self. One is the root chakra. So this is the root cause of the issue. The work that you've done on you, the ability to stand in your square, stand erect, the ability to uh, heal yourself, because that's the very first step is healing from past wounds and traumas, uh, familial traumas, childhood traumas, even past life traumas. That's the first step to to ascension is you got to heal thyself in order to love thyself, in order to know thyself. So they hate the fact that you are standing erect, that you're standing in your power and that you mean business. And so they're coming back with this vengeance. They're coming back with this this plan, this very foolish plan to try to sabotage or to cause some sort of distraction or some sort of confusion in your journey. And spirit is saying your your new beginning is here. So focus on the self. One is the self. And this is also you having that awareness that you are the magi, that you have the ability to co-create and with the divine first and foremost, but also to utilize the elements around you. So this person has been watching you manifest new things in your life. These people that are perturbed by your existence and by your success are individuals that have been perturbed by you since you met them. There's never been a healthy dynamic, which is why they are returning with a very uh, vengeful plot to try to knock you down a couple of notches and why why because you're growing because you're expanding because you're uh living out your dreams you're following your dreams you're living out your true passions uh you've discovered what you enjoy what you love and what you dislike and that's why they were cut off because you realize that these were people that were not necessarily rooting for you but perhaps trying to put roots on you you know so it's like you started to pay attention and you saw people for who they truly were all right and no one wants to be left behind, especially not those who um, who have some sort of sick competitive, um, you know, some competition going on with someone. 
So we have surrender. See that? Number 91. So you have surrendered, I feel, to spirit. Whatever spirit has told you, especially about this ending, because remember I said 10. So you've surrendered to the fact that it's done. Whatever was going on in that former cycle, um, it has come full circle. You've learned those lessons, and now you're willing to surrender to spirit. One is, like I said, that root chakra. We just saw new beginnings. So after you've surrendered to spirit, this is the new beginning that you have. This opportunity now to live your truth. This opportunity now to stand in your power and to trust what spirit is telling you. Spiritual downloads, interventions, divine interventions. You're also having transmissions, and spirit is providing you that information so that you can have this successful and victorious new start contra regardless of what these other people are doing to sabotage so you've surrendered to your higher self whereas these individuals are still operating in their their shadow self their lower self give me one moment i'm sorry sorry about that beloveds so yeah so as i was saying it just feels like um, with this energy here you are surrendering to spirit uh, and in doing so, this is leading you to that new beginning, that new voyage, that new path, because something has obviously come to an end. Every ending, as I said, denotes a new beginning. So you have 10, 10 here. And with this domestic harmony, there's another 10. So this is showing that there was some there were some things that were unfolding within your relationship dynamics that was becoming very unsettling. Um, and so this caused you to do a little more deep diving, uh, caused you to really start, um, you know, doing some soul searching to discover what was a necessity for you in those relationships. So with this is like almost like um, the death of the old you and the, the, the emergence of a new version of yourself, stronger, self-loving, more uh, aware, more in tune, more in alignment, more balanced. Um, so you started to focus on the self. Taking care of you is playing right now by Sage. So I do feel like your spiritual self, your higher self led you to uh, focusing more on the self. Um, that's what the surrendering was about. It was about you surrendering to the divine and relinquishing the control, um, trying to control the narrative or trying to control uh, whatever the circumstance was at that time, at that moment. And that led to uh, you discovering and falling in love with yourself again. The four is associated with the heart chakra. The six is associated with the crown. So this is what led to the death of the old, so to speak. As I said, uh, every ending denotes a brand new beginning. So that's beautiful. So let's see what's in, what's coming in and out going on with our beloved collective, the yin and yang energy. So that card wanted to be shown. And we have relationship change here. This is the number 56 now. So that 11, that's two. Um, that's really, you know, relationship I feel is with the self. Uh, the two is the high priestess. Um, so I do feel like you started to come into that Christ consciousness. Uh, you started to change the relationship you had with yourselves. Um, that high priestess is about, you know, seeing what's behind the veil, um, having a more deeper understanding, because now you are very trusting of your intuition. You are more obedient because you've surrendered to the divine. You've surrendered to the instruction divine was giving you through the divine downloads, through the transmissions, through those, um, you know, those communications and interventions. And here we see with that too, now there's, um, this knowing this is the sixth sense this psychic uh and 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 uh very clairvoyant clairaudient clairsentient there's a sensitivity um that has been amplified psychically for you uh but we have 32 uh and this is number five so music was also um some of you all could also be clairaudient such as myself where you may hear music and it automatically um communicates messages uh, you may play instruments, you may write songs, you may be a musician. Um, you've tapped into your divinity as a divine feminine or divine masculine. Um, and music is a very, um, it's a very strong passion um, that you have with music, a strong connection. I do feel like the music you make or the music you listen to does uh, provide some form of enlightenment or it is also very um 
a very uh, it awakens the hearts, the minds, the soul of people. Um, maybe you are being called to be a musician, to to utilize your gifts, skills and talents. Um, music is really soul music, you know, like soul when you make music with with passion, with love. Um, as the the base it is soul music it's it's the sounds that you know the, the the instruments the sounds even the lyrics um it can be very soothing to the soul it could also activate and, and cause awareness in a person so uh, for many of you all i feel like you are uh, awakening to the fact that that is your soul's mission to to utilize your musical skills gifts and talents your artistic skills gifts and talents um and as i said maybe some of you all are listening to music and it's providing uh, some sort of downloads it's giving you some sort of foresight insight I do feel as you have um, been on your journey uh, you do utilize uh, your your musical gifts um, as a means to spark the minds heart and souls of others and this does mean that you can be um, ordained or uh, one of the chosen one that spirit has uh, chosen or selected to to utilize your gifts uh, especially with um, we have safer hands playing uh, and this is by olive um, so yeah so you know this provides uh, some sort of safety net um, and I also feel like you feel safe like this is your safe space this is your happy place when you're creating when you're in that creative zone um, I just feel like time slips away when you are doing something that you're very passionate about, um, when you are creating music, even if you are a producer of music, as I said, if you even play instruments or a songwriter, maybe you write uh, music, sheet music, um, this message has been very consistent with the um, collective as well. Uh, whether you're yin or yang so I feel definitely there's you have a very strong connection to music you may love music you may find yourselves creating music or listening to music all the time um, and it puts you in a very uh, peaceful place it makes you feel happy um, it's very nostalgic maybe you're listening to old songs um, and it's giving you a sense of nostalgia um, so let's tap in, tune in, let's see what's coming and going out, going on for the collective. May I have a message of love and light, divine spirit. What is coming and going out, going on for the collective. May I have a message of love and light. I also feel there's communication when you listen to music. So it's like spirit is telling you to, to, um, to, to hear and not just listen, you know, because I feel there's a message, um, spirit strongly said hear. Don't just listen to music, but hear, hear the music. So that is for a select few. That's a different message. We got karmic completion, and we do see that with the 1010 reference here. So there has been some endings, and then you got another 10. Some of you all um, definitely could have been born on um, in the 10th month, on the 10th day, on the first day, um, in the first month um, of the, you know, on the first day, like I said, um, I do feel that this is also just, you know, confirming that there has been uh, some sort of uh, karmic ending completion. Uh, and now there's this new beginning that you are um, on the precipice of starting. So we have domestic harmony here, number 46. That's another 10. So I do feel with this energy, um, I strongly feel like your past is trying to um, come back. Uh, to uh, I feel sabotage some peace and happiness that you have in your life I also feel this person um, may use uh, some of the uh, ways that they used to get to you maybe there was music or songs that the two of you may share special songs or uh, a dedicated song someone may uh, send you a message with a me uh, you know with a video link to a song that you used to listen to with this person. Um, I feel this is a, a ploy and a means to try to work their way in because this is a six. 
um, and that 6 is dealing with the past energy. When you add the 32 with the 46, that's 6. Uh, the 46 is 1, obviously, so this is 6. So it's giving me like that past vibes energy, a past person trying to play on your emotional um, strings. You know, I see the green. The green deals with the heart chakra as well. Uh, the blue is all about communication. Um, and so that communication can be expression, either artistically, communicatively, or even through um, create creatively. So someone's being very creative in how to uh, work their way back in. There was obviously an ending and someone does not want that ending to take place. For some of you all, this could be with, um, you know, the mother or father to your child because we was seeing, uh, you know, the domestic harmony card along with the relationship change. So this could be someone that you were with for a long time um, and you parted ways. You left the situation behind because it was not serving your highest good. You weren't you know, getting what you needed out of it. It was more so uh, a benefit for them to have you in their life and not a mutual exchange of give and take. So I do feel like you walked away from that. I feel that there was um, almost this sense that you had to put up a boundary with this person because they overstepped it all the time. Um, and I feel now I'm hearing the word rage, like it's rage because maybe in the past they were able to break down those walls, those barriers. And now it's like you have such a wall up because you have the sense of confidence because you're taking care of you according to Sage, because you've tapped into your higher self and you have a very strong connection to your spirit team, your guides, your angels, your ancestors. They are telling you to surrender to them and not to mere mortals, you know, uh, don't try to change the narrative. Don't try to force a situation that isn't meant for you. Uh, just trust the process. For some of you all, it is painful to just walk away from someone because, you know, you may have history, you may have a family, you may have children um, that you were building with this person. But I feel everything in you, every fabric of your, your being knows that it is the end. It is the best thing for you, um, for your happiness, even for the health and wellness and mental and spiritual for your children to see you walk away and with dignity, uh, with a sense of pride, being uh, strong in your disposition, in your stance, and not going backwards because of fear uh, or surrendering, submitting your will to someone else because they simply call you back or they simply play a song or they're simply just being manipulative and gaslighting as per usual. Um, so I do feel like this is uh, this person's last attempt, this past person's last attempt to come in um, and try to dupe you. As I said, Mercury retrograde is going to bring a lot of the old back, and it's going to be a lot of people who fall for the okie doke, and they're going to find themselves repeating cycles and trying to fight their way out of those same karmic cycles and lessons that they've worked so hard to get out of. Don't be that person, Ashe. So we have um, karmic completion on the bottom of the deck, which validated, confirmed, affirmed everything that was stated. So we're going to pull some messages from the psychic tarot deck. See what we got coming in, going out, going on. We got material harvest here on the bottom of the deck. So you do have abundance. You have plenty. There's plenty that spirit is offering you. This is like wish fulfillment. When you walk away from a person, place, thing that does not serve your highest good or for anyone, from anyone or anything for that matter, that does not honor you, that does not appreciate you, uh, that does not see your valid, uh, value, your worth, um, and you choose to walk away from that, that is a very powerful stance, a very powerful statement uh, of self-love. And as I said, um, you listen to the self, your higher self, instruct you to, to do what's best for you. Um, and that four also is associated with the heart chakra. So I feel like there was a love of self which led you to walking away. That's a bold statement. Uh, Self-love is always more attractive. And I feel like you're attracting now everything that that past person could have potentially been blocking from you, uh, which is why you have to learn the karmic lessons to begin with. Um, it is not meant for you to live in a spirit of lack mentally emotionally physically financially but when you are stuck with people wh with whom you can't even see with your first eye what their true intentions are spirit is not going to bless you spirit is not going to be able to provide that of what it is you desire what you require because that person is there to be a succubus to take away to be that energy vampire uh to be that spiritual parasite uh to be that leech and so it is very important and imperative for you to complete the cycle 
before the blessings can come. And now you're being showered with the blessings. There's a harvest here. And this is divine. In the former reading, we saw that uh, Scorpio, I did a reading for Scorpio, and it showed that all of the hard work, all of the blood, sweat, and tears, everything that you have endured, um, it has come full circle and now there is reward. You're being recognized. Spirit acknowledges your efforts, your hard work. And so there's manifestations that are coming into fruition. There's blessings. There's prayers being answered. There's miracles taking place. And this is what this looks like. So you are being blessed not only uh, with not not only the knowledge of self, not only with, you know, the ability to connect directly to source uh, with your ancestors, your angels. Nine is a very powerful number of change. Uh, it speaks to the change and transformation that you've made within yourself because you've taken that necessary time out to heal thyself, to work on thyself, to strengthen thyself, to love thyself. Now you're being rewarded for the work you've done. The nine is associated with the hermit. The hermit is a wizard. So the hermit knows the answers he seeks are not found external to self but internally and that's why it's very important to cut the soul ties the cords the yokes the hexes the spells that you have with other people so as to receive the blessings because these people those individuals those type of energy vampires are there to block it they could see your light anybody with eyes can see the light that radiates from you and that's why they gravitate to you and as I said they they are covert you know this is that like I said, those uh, agent provocateurs that will mimic you um, and they will become, you know, almost like um, uh, what is the term I used earlier? Shapeshifters, you know, um, they will wear a mask. You know, they're false people. They're fugazis. They're they're frenemies. You know, a frenemy is literally someone parading around fronting to be your friend. So it is very important for you to always check your circle, your cipher. I have to do that daily because it's constant reminder that the more you ascend the more you're going to you're going to find people dropping you know you, everybody's not meant to go to the destination with you they're not going to make it you know what i'm talking about like it, they're not meant to make it so you have to do those daily check-ins not only with yourself but also assessing uh the types of people the quality of people the intentions of the people around you you have to be mindful of what you're sharing and it's unfortunate that you have to do that but trust me it's necessary because everybody does not want to see you succeed in in this lifetime it's unfortunate but it's just actual factuals that's just what it is so here you're being blissed you're being being blissed because you did the work so this is beautiful and who do we have playing right now and this is um alex Gardino and kelly and this is called what a feeling so you're going to be elated see that you're at the crown chakra that is that is like divine knowledge of self this is when you are tapped in tuned in so that card flew out and we are going to take it we are absolutely going to take it whenever cards fly out i do feel you know especially when they just fall out of my lap you know out of my hand like that i feel like that spirit's just choosing the cards for you so we have the crown chakra and the light which is the sun that number 10 see that the crown chakra is associated with your intuition as well. It's all connected. The first eye, the crown. So those are the divine downloads. And then you also have patience and planning. See that? What did I say? When you try to control the narrative. Oh, my God. I love when this happens. Thank you, spirit. See that? And what did I say? You are moving on. You're moving on from someone from your past. Look at the shadow. They had you in, the, the, in this darkness. You know, this is when you're going through, you know, they say when you're going through hell, keep going. You know what I'm saying? You don't stay in hell and, and, and you know, self-loathe and whimper and whine and complain. You just keep going because eventually you're going to get to the end of the tunnel, that dark tunnel, and you're going to get back to the light. And so it was divine timing, everything that took place. It was a matter of you learning, growing, and moving on and out of a situation that was no longer serving you. And as Kelly Rowland and Alex Gardena is singing right now, what a feeling, what a feeling to be rejuvenated, what a feeling to feel strong again, you know, what a feeling to come back into yourself. 
a game and also be showered for your efforts with blessings and opportunity and success. So let's go ahead and clarify what has fallen out. So just as I said, pay attention to your intuition and the crown chakra flew out to clarify the intuition card. So this is speaking to your ability to be tapped in seven and four uh, makes a portal. That's 11. You know, so that's how you receive the divine downloads, interventions, transmissions from spirit straight from source is when you have that portal. The 11 makes two portals. It is two pillars pretty much. And that's how the information pours in. And so this is why spirit is telling you, look, they're giving you the warning shots. Some of you may have synchronicities taking place. You may have certain numbers, certain inklings, certain sensations. You may feel your ears ringing. You may have certain ailments just pop up out of the blue. Those are signs that people are working on you. You know what I'm saying? When you just wake up one day with an ache and you didn't do anything with that particular area. And it's like, what is this? If it doesn't feel right, if it feels like there's something else going on, that means there's somebody that is sending you some bad juju, evil eye, and you have to protect your energy. Because right now, like I always remind you all, this is spiritual warfare. There's so much going on behind the scenes that no longer can be hidden because the veil has been lifted. It's like we are in the new earth, so we have to be prepared. And the way you prepare yourselves is by staying ready so you don't have to get ready. And, and, and with this energy, this is showing just how spiritually strong you are, how much you've grown personally, spiritually. You are in spiritual alignment and spirit knows that. And that's why they're telling you, always trust your intuition. Always trust that gut instinct. Never go against that. As a sage, the sage carries ancient wisdom. Remember, we had take care of you playing by sage. So spirit is reminding you to take care of yourself. Love yourself. Don't allow anybody to interfere with what's best for you. Don't allow anyone to interfere with what you are doing to better your circumstance, to better yourself, to um, ensure that you are happy because you are not responsible for anyone else's happiness except for your own and vice versa. No one else external to you is responsible for yours. So this is beautiful. Next, we have 33 and the number 19. So this again, this is like spirit telling you that the truth is all around you. Like you are going to be able to see exactly uh, what someone's intentions are. The six again, like I said, is the associated with the crown, uh, the first side, pardon me. So you got the crown and the first side together, but the light is very illuminating. And so spirit is telling you there is something that's going to be so obvious that you are going to be able to see through the nonsense. And not only will you be able to see through the nonsense, but you'll be able to take the appropriate steps to move forward because whatever was in the dark, whatever someone was doing behind your back, whatever rocks they was throwing at you and hide in their hands, it's being exposed. It's being exposed. And not only is it being exposed, it's pushing you in a direction that's going to bring a lot of happiness, you know, that's going to bring a lot of joy and peace. As we can see here, you was in the dark, but now you're in the light. So it's like whatever's in the dark always comes out in the light. And that is the truth. The truth always prevails. And so I feel like with this communication, you're going to see through someone's manipulation. You're going to see through the conniving ways. You're going to see through the gaslighting. You're going to be able to see through it because your first eye is wide open and your crown chakra is wide open. So there's nothing anyone is going to be able to do to dupe you or to gaslight you because you're fully fully much uh, you're fully aware of the shenanigans and I do feel strongly like you're going to be very happy very satisfied I just saw 47 47 and that's 11 11 and so that 11 11 again that is a number uh, that is very much associated with um, twin flame energy, um, soulmate energy. So there is a possibility uh, that some of you all could be coming into um, a special union with a special person as well. Um, and that is uh, that could be coming in quickly because when I see the three and three and this ten, uh, which is one, that's seven. And so perhaps there's going to be some form of a download of spirit letting you know someone special is coming in. It looks like it's some sort of wish fulfillment because these stars are here. And so, you know, for me, seven is like associated with, um, you know, it's associated with the, the, the chariot. And this is for a select few. You know, some of you all may know someone's coming in for you. 
Um, and this could be another reason why someone uh, from your past, a karmic, could be trying to distract you away from that path. Uh, we did see relationship change. Um, so that is a possibility that you can be coming into a brand new union. Um, but this right here, some, this, some of you all are just going to be elated because you not only do you have a new beginning, but it's just like there's there's just this sense of, of um, joy, you know, contentment, happiness. And we have um, Spandu Ballot, and this is called True. So some of you all, your true love is coming in. Uh, for some of you all, there is... Um, a blessing that's coming in as well, as I said, with that material harvest. Uh, and it's because you were true to yourself. I feel divine is telling you to be true to you, you know. So let's see. Let's clarify these messages. Divine spirit of love and light. And let's not forget this uh, patience uh, and planning and surrender. So, you know, like I said, when you try to control the narrative, it's almost like you're telling the most high, you know, what's best. You know what I'm saying? You got a better plan. And so for you to humble yourself and surrender to the divine and let the divine lead you opposed to you trying to lead the way, uh, even though you didn't know what you was doing. That's why you was trapped in the karma cycle around a bunch of foo foos and crazies. <laughs> it's like you surrendered finally. And now there's this this opportunity, uh, you know, for good things to take place because you are being patient opposed to trying to rush the process. Um, when you rush the process, you can make, miss some of the fine details. You can miss those red flags because you just want that, that, that end result. But the end result doesn't necessarily mean it's going to um, stay that way. There may not be longevity with somebody just because you rush and pass all of the actual work that needs to be done. So it's like spirit is saying, look, just work on you, work on the self. This 91 is one. That's the, that's really the root chakra. Um, this is about, you know, um, not being so focused on the material or the flesh or it's like it, it, a part of you had to die in order for another part of you to be um, reborn, if you will, because this is associated with Scorpio. The first chakra is associated with Scorpio, the base, you know, the root. Um, and so that is, you know, life and death. Um, and so I feel like a part of you had to die that that inner child, um, you know, that child, that person that was abused or traumatized or, you know, that person who's been through um, a lot of turmoil in life, difficulties, um, abuse, mental, emotional, physical. It's like that part of you had to die in order for you to be reborn, to be reincarnated, to rise like that phoenix from the ashes. So it's like you had to surrender uh, to spirit while spirit worked with you to work through some of those traumas and it required patience you know it required patience and it also required planning because you had to rebuild now um, on a more solid foundation and you had to learn to stand erect you had to learn your independence you had to learn to trust um, you had to feel secure in in, in your own self um, and so this is like you know looking at a situation and not really seeing um, the big payoff, you know, feeling like you got shortchanged um, because whatever you was expecting um, didn't turn out or pan out the way that you had hoped. But it's like when you trust the divine and you surrender to the plan the divine has, everything works out in your favor. And so I feel this is you being humbled and learning to trust the process because good things take time to create, you know, and this same orb of light that you see here was that same orb of light that beautiful ray from the sunshine was the same ray of light that was over the material harvest card uh where the gentleman was just like arms extended to receive the blessings and the gifts so it's like spirit is saying look your hard work is going to pay off because the divine is paying attention to what you're doing but the divine more importantly is is noticing your growth noticing you uh being more obedient you know, to spirit and, and relinquishing that need to control the circumstance, the narrative or whatever. So we have on the bottom of the deck uh, foundations and achievements. So a lot of you all, the, the stability of a household, um, I feel was perhaps ruptured, something transpired 
um, within the household because I'm getting the four and the nine. I mean, the four and the five is making nine. Um, so I do feel like there was some sort of extreme change where, as I said before, you had to create boundaries and you had to cut someone off. This was someone that you had developed a family dynamic, someone that you treated like family, someone that was... Um, you know, a lover, a family member, a colleague, a friend, um, but you realized you had to create some sort of boundary because there was something that was um, perhaps um, unsettling in the connection. Um, maybe there was some conflicts. Maybe you discovered there was some secret competition. Uh, maybe you discovered there was some someone who was gaslighting or uh, someone who was, you know, kind of like trying to imitate you, duplicating your style, imitating things that you do, and, and, and they were hiding behind this mask, uh, perhaps that they, uh, you know, were admiring you, but it was really a, a competitive energy. Um, whatever it was, I feel like uh, this really uh, disrupted some sort of uh, happiness that you had within that dynamic, and it caused you to do some deep diving. Um, maybe music really soothed you, as I said, you know, when you listen to um, the right music, it's like soul food. It, it literally will um, take you exactly to that same time, place you were when you heard that song, um, and it will take you down that memory lane. It will be very nostalgic and maybe there were parts of you that you discovered you were kind of hiding or you were um, not really living your truth and so this spiraled into more of um, a desire to learn more about you the five is associated with the hierophant so I do feel like a lot of you started to just tap into your spirituality, learn more about your spirituality, your deities, uh, maybe developing a relationship and creating altars in your space, in your home, um, and connecting with those ancestors, those deities. Um, and this really helped to develop your um your personal strength and also introduced you to what your your purpose your mission was so i do feel for many of you um this is you know what you truly desire you know you truly desire to have this this very happy um foundation with people you could trust uh but you're not willing to um self-sabotage you're not willing to overlook certain red flags so it's like you you want stability first and foremost you want people that you know are solid you want people that are going to um give equally uh, and not just come around to take, to be parasites, to be an energy vampire. Um, and I feel like you've learned this through your relationships from your past, through those past circumstances, those past experiences. And so now you are more um, more mindful of the connections that you're developing, of the people you have around them. You want them to be also uh, tapped into that God frequency, into their Christ consciousness. You want them to also have a sense of spirituality, um, to have a connection. Um, you want to be connected with your soul family. You know, that's just what it is. So let's see, what 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 um what do we have coming and going on, going on? This card flew all the way over there. Some of you all are discontent and bored. And remember, if you don't you know control what's going on in your mind somebody else will so don't allow your mind to just you know wander like if you are bored pick up a book and read you know um there's always materials out here that you can uh learn from learn a a, a hobby learn learn something you've always wanted to do and 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 invest your time and energy in that but this energy being bored and discontent is not healthy even going outside in nature and just sitting amongst the trees can truly um you know um bring joy and happiness like you'll receive downloads you'll see certain animal totems and it will remind you of you know something you want to do uh there's messages in out in nature i mean nature is alive and so when you're around that it strengthens you and it, it uh taps you in to the frequency um so definitely just be mindful of that energy okay uh, of being discontent and bored because life is life is, is is still happening and and to be in this energy this is like blockage you know don't don't be there that's not a good space to be so what flew out was we have choose wisely okay and this is the number seven and so we have the number seven and this is clarifying um 32 music so the song that's playing right now is um puff daddy and this is called um working and this is featuring big sean 
and Travis Scott. So some of you all could be dealing with someone named Sean, Travis, or Scott. Um, some of the, you all, this could be your children's father, uh, because I'm getting from the daddy. This could even be your own parent, your father. Uh, what I'm seeing here is spirit is telling you clearly, somebody's going to come back with communication that's trying to distract you. And what they're saying is, um, in the, the hook is don't bother me. I'm working. Okay. So spirit is telling you choose wisely. And I feel like spirit is telling you choose wisely who you entertain, because as you can see here, he's clearly in meditation mode and someone could very well try to interrupt, um, you know, this very spiritual sacred time you are sharing with spirit out in nature, um, getting the downloads and then somebody's communication comes in, pops in out of the blue uh, to distract you off this path. Uh, perhaps they could be trying to get you to do something. Uh, trying to, like I said, distract you off your own path. But spirit is telling you, choose wisely with whom you even communicate with. Because as I said, uh, people can try to distract you, um, distract you um, and, and, and try to dump their, you know, low vibrational energy onto you because energy is transferable. People don't realize that. That's why I say when people call you, text you, you don't have to respond. You know, my new answer is no answer. If I don't have the time or energy to be bothered, I'm just not going to respond because I've this week I had a uh, communication um, that was just frustrating. You know, after, you know, when I'm busy and then somebody like messages me, um, you know, sometimes you don't really get to to uh, assess what's being communicated in that moment because you're preoccupied. So a lot of times when I'm multitasking, um, something will hit later you know what I'm saying like what someone's intentions truly were um so it's like something came through through the communication um on my text and I was just like what like it was it was just so annoying it's, it's just like you 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 could just tell that's their whole motivation and goal was to just annoy <laughs> you know what I'm talking about so I was just like you know what I don't have to I don't have to do that I gotta I got choices I got options and and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna silence you next step is you're gonna be blocked you know what I'm talking about so it, it's just it comes to the point where you have to take control of what you're doing because literally I was working when this person messaged me with the nonsense and it's just like choose wisely who you communicate with. Choose wisely who you even have that verbal exchange with because you don't have to. You're not obligated to speaking to anyone with whom you know is always got an issue, a problem, a request, a need. It's never, hey, how are you? And that's just that. It's always a woe is me or a, a, a complaint or just pulling on your energy. And so be mindful you know, because like I said, with Agent Provocateur, which was the message, that was the clear message that came through. These are people for pretending to be cool with you. But just a, a, a few convert, you know, just a few dialogues in, you get to see the true intention. So that's why I said you got to be mindful of the Agent Provocateurs because they're trying to provoke you to react, to respond a certain way. And then that's an energy exchange. And then they could go on about their merry way, having you angry. They done dump their misery onto you. And now you, they're running off in the sunset with your joy and peace that you had before they contacted your ass. So be mindful. And it's because they're bored. They have nothing better to do. You know, spirit is saying they absolutely are bored. These are people that need to get a life. These are people that have no joy and peace in their home. They're mentally conflicted. This is mental confliction, you know, with the 46 and then this four, that's five. So this is somebody mentally conflicted. This is someone agonizing, stressing, concerned with what you have going on. Maybe they're sitting around watching you and, and seeing you succeed and grow. You know, look at this six. Didn't I mention the six, the, the lover, uh, the six of cups. So this is what that's given me. Memories of love, somebody from your past, you know, somebody who's mad that, you know, for the most part, you're not falling for the okie doke no more. You're not playing the games. You're not participating in the mind fuckery part in my language or the, the manipulative games. You're not falling for the gaslighting. You're not falling for it. So they're, they're getting bored. Who else can they play with? You know, you know, who else can they play with? Everybody done figured this person out because they're tired, you know, 
you know so um yeah we got nucleus and this is called jam on it so yeah you're you're new you know and the nucleus this is like for me when i hear the nucleus i feel like you have um you've created your own nucleus this was someone that felt like they was a part of that initially you know having that nucleus with you having that family that bond that structure um and you've since parted ways and you're building rebuilding your own you know so they're no longer a part of that structure they're no longer a part of um you know this 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 life that you are creating for yourself and this is obviously someone very um conflicted you know and this is someone that wants to win at all costs also because it's giving me like the five of swords where somebody thought that they broke you but then they turn around and see you getting back up and not only are you getting back up but you charging at their ass and you and you know what i'm talking about like you, you still got some fight in you you know this is that person that you've created those boundaries with and they did everything they could to try to knock them suckers down but they can't because it's like you 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 have created a whole new version of yourself you have reinvented yourself you know what i'm talking about so this is causing them to become very bored very frustrated you know even because their tactics their their ploys their trickery it, it just isn't working on you anymore so let's see why is this 46 domestic harmony here for my beloved collective may have a message of love and light for the beloved collective spirit what messages thank you spirit you saw how that flipped up let me just finish the shuffle bottom of the deck see that disruption this is a tower somebody's trying to cause a tower this is somebody trying to keep you constrained, stuck, stagnant. This is someone who has some sort of sick attachment. This is someone who's trying to bind you again, you know, trying to bind you with their words, trying to bind you even through rituals. This is that person that you once had this happy home, but you had to part ways. The 21 is the world. This is the universe. You have evolved, beloved. You've come into your, 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 um, into your knowledge, like the song was saying earlier by ramp so it's like you 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 ramped it up while they're stuck here they're stuck here because even without them you're still living this dream you still stable you're self-sufficient you're independent you've been working very hard which is why spirit said hey you deserve material blessings you deserve a harvest it's, it's like you did the work and this is what they're frustrated with when you just operate in the shadow side you're going to be stuck in the dark for a minute until you start facing your own demons and looking in the mirror and stop projecting all of this nonsense onto other people this person has yet to do their work whereas you did yours that's why you're sitting here all happy shine and glowing life is beautiful and bright rainbows you know what i'm saying sunny skies mama oya is rocking with you you know what i'm talking about and it's because you did the steps you did the knowledge the universe speaks to you really navigating learning to navigate all circumstances you've mastered all of the elements water fire earth air and ether just like that dragon that we saw remember we or we heard earlier dragon and so this is what the universe entails you've mastered yourself and not only have you mastered yourself you've learned to love yourself you have become you know that great healer that great uh divine feminine that 21 reduces to three which is the empress even if you're masculine energy you're here as well happier more solid you know able to take care of yourself whereas this person here they're trying to cause disruption the 16 is giving me the seven which is the the devil you know seven deadly sins is what i'm hearing and so this person is now having to suffer the consequences of their actions i feel like they're up in their head that's why i was picking up like mental conflict you know what i'm saying and look what flew out this is your message here positive movements forward and this is what you're doing you moving upward and onward i told y'all y'all wasn't dealing with this energy this is the energy of somebody who is very, um, very conflicted, very disturbed, you know, by the peace that you was able to find without them. You know, this was somebody that thought they was going to be a part of this nucleus, this family, um, you know, and, and unfortunately you are doing this without them, you know, with domestic harmony. There was an end to that. You're moving on. You know, the happiness, it started out to be happy, but then it just fizzled and died. And it was because maybe you felt like you was the only one, you know, making the effort to to sustain the connection, the relationship. It takes two, you know, to make a thing go right. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like, it, so this is why this person now is sitting here, stuck in their mind, stuck dealing with their the consequences of their actions. 
you know um the seven is also like i said that is <clears throat> excuse me the crown chakra so they could be getting some divine downloads as well you know maybe they are uh receiving messages from spirit as well um but i feel like you're moving on you're moving on um to happier times this is that positive movement forward uh this is you moving away from the things that no longer serve you and there's a big beautiful sun there waiting for you the sun is here as well the light so this speaks to you know happiness and joy and peace and even emotional fulfillment you know you did the necessary work to heal yourself you did the necessary work to um release you know to purge to cleanse clean clear cleanse um and i feel like you're distancing yourself so you are making the wise choice to move away from what no longer serves you um just as i was picking up you all were going to do because you realize a tr you know you realize a trend you realize a repeat when you see one you know what i'm talking about and so look what we have here we have fortune this is um aunt caroline and this is the wheel of fortune so spirit is saying just as i said somebody that was trying to put that stick in your wheel or stick that uh um put the stick in between your wheel um the wheel has been removed by spirit and this is speaking to the fortune, the fame, the blessings, the recognitions, the breakthroughs, the victories, the success that is due for you because that person is now out of the way. They are removed. Spirit has literally blocked them out of your life. They have they can't move nowhere until they get themselves right mentally. They got to get themselves right. They are disrupted mentally. And so spirit got them here for a minute to just kind of, you know, take a pause, take a moment to assess, to reflect on themselves. But you here, this is like recognition. You see this person taking a picture. So some of you all could be going viral. Some of you all could be getting in knowledge or recognized in your places of employment. Some of you all may be starting a business and you may start seeing your, your business flourish. You may start having uh, people just leaving you rave reviews. You may have started a YouTube channel and you're just having a bunch of people subscribe. People are loving your channel. You're in the algorithms. Like there's just so many different ways in which you could be succeeding. Maybe you're just successful in terms of just your own happiness and joy your own peace you know that you're feeling within yourself but this is fortune these are the things that are coming in because they had been blocked so long so it's like it's like whatever uh was delayed is now coming in for you and this is absolutely gorgeous this is coming full circle this is exactly what you deserve and so we have the two of wands and so this is really, again, you know, making that decision to choose what's best for you. You know, the two, the two of wands is really like, you know, assessing everything, you know, being at a, a fork in the road, but having to trust your intuition in order to make that next move, to make the next move your best move. You know what I'm talking about? And so, yeah, with that ace of swords, this is like spirit giving you direct uh, downloads. You know, this is also clearing your path, opening the road for you to success, to victory. You know, this is also seeing things clear, having the clarity, cutting the people, places and things off that no longer serve you. And that's why spirit is the one doing this. And that's why this uh, fortune is coming through. I also feel like what's destined for you is making its way in. As I said, those answered prayers, those wish fulfillments, the miracles, the blessings, the rewards, the recognition, all of those things are coming in now because you got rid of that karmic. You got rid of the people that was blocking your blessings because that's what energy vampires and spiritual parasites do they try to live off of you they're succubus they try to um use you as their life force and so they will sit around and and and, and try to mirror you and be like you and imitate you um until you wake up and and see what you have around you you got the ace of baskets here so this is an overpouring of love this is also indicating the healing that took place you love yourselves now and because you love yourselves so much your your cup is running over your cup runneth over and this means that you're going to start attracting what you are. So what's destined for you, the person that's destined for you couldn't come in because you still had this karmic clinging to you, holding on to you. And we have um, we have Manu the Banga and this is called Soul um, Makasa. So your your soul. See this. This person was trying to uh, keep you soul tied to them, anchored to them. This is an attachment. This is someone codependent even, but your true soulmate is now coming in. What's destined for you is coming in because we have soul uh, Mikasa playing. 
and this is by uh, Menu Dabanga. So um, this is definitely uh, what Spirit was saying earlier because we saw 47.47 and um, it was 11.11 on the clock. So I feel definitely you have a twin flame, a soulmate, a counterpart, soul, uh, spiritual counterpart or cosmic companion. Uh, you know, somebody that is destined to be in your life is coming in and it's because you have a new beginning. So new beginnings are going to bring new opportunities. It's going to bring new people. It's going to bring new circumstances. It's just bringing newness. You know, it's the newness. See that the 10 of baskets here. And this is like having the 10 of baskets twice. You know, the ace of baskets on um, part of me twice. So the 10 of baskets, you're going to be emotionally fulfilled. And this is that family life. Like I said, that's what's motivating you to make the right decisions. Because it's like you have to be honest with yourself at some point. Like, you know, going backwards, is that going to bring joy, peace, and happiness in my life and contentment? Or moving forward? You know what I'm talking about? Like, are you going to allow someone to keep you stuck even though you know you're not going to be able to get everything you need out of that connection? Or there's no meeting of the minds or there's no real passion um, or even love you know it's just you may love that person but there's no ability to fall in love or rise excuse me I like saying rise rise in love with this person so it's like um so that that's what you're really sitting here and assessing you know because I feel like it's going to be a choice between your past and then your actual twin flame your soulmate and spirit is telling you to choose wisely because only you know only you have the answer you have the answer, but this is like when you make the right decision, this is what you are going to be filled with. This is like wish fulfillment and, cho and, and opportunities. Everything that was blocked, everything that was delayed is coming in, it's pouring in, it's overflowing. Look at the strength you're exuding. This is what self-respect looks like. When you love yourself, you're going to always stand in your power, own your power. You're not going to ever let anyone overpower you, over talk you, you know, it, 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 it's not going to happen. And because somebody that loves you wouldn't require that. They wouldn't even want to do that to you. And see that? Look at that. See that five? Of, what is that? The five of sticks. I heard all of the gossip mongers, all of the people that have nothing better to do. Whoever gossips to you gossips about you. So the very same people who will call you up on the phone be like, yeah, girl, you know, da 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 yo, ho, yo, home, yo, you heard about so Anybody that do that, trust and believe when they stop talking to you, when they hang up with you, they calling somebody else and talking about you and whatever you share. That's why I said be mindful of the information that you share. Be mindful of the people you communicate with because these are people who have nothing nice to say or nothing real or nothing of substance, I should say. Nice, I don't even like that word, but nothing of substance. This isn't bringing anything. This is just like perpetuating low vibrational energy. This is people who are upset because look at you. Look at your body language. You got your arms crossed, which means you're not allowing that energy in. You're not allowing them in. This is you being very guarded, having the boundaries. That's why spirit was like, be mindful of who you listen to. You know, be mindful of the nonsense that you allow into your into your 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 um space. You know what I'm talking about? And so we have all of here saying you're not alone. So even though these people was gossiping and trying to defame your character, assassinate your character, you were never alone. And you stood in your power. You was able to stand in this power because you weren't alone. Spirit was right there with you. Like they say, Mama Ma'at has everyone's address. So karma, dharma, whatever they was doing, they're going to have to sit back and watch your victory. All these people talking about, oh, I heard this is what they're going to have to watch. You moving forward victoriously. That's why that fortune was there. Because they thought they blocked something. They, you know, whenever you got a group of people gathering to the, that ain't nothing but the devil. You know what I'm talking about? Like, this is nothing but the devil. This is nothing but devilishment. This is nothing but people who are, you know, just very um, insecure, um, insignificant. And you're standing alone, standing erect. Look at the power you're exuding. You are very clear. You have the clarity. So you got, you, you, you got, you know what type of time these people are on. That's why you got your back turned. So it's like you literally was like part in my back. Like you're not dealing with that energy. You realize you've discovered, you've learned that they were foo-foos, that they were fakes, they were frauds. These are agent provocateurs trying to get you to turn around and be like, what? What you say? And then they could all jump on you. Please, you ain't got time for that. That's adolescent stuff. That's like child's play. Here you are, though. It's like, hello. <laughs> Y'all can talk if you want to. You're going to be talking about my victory. You're going to be reading about me in the news. You're going to be seeing me, you know what I'm saying, making power moves while y'all all sitting together like little school children. 
So this is, look, what did I say? Karma Dharma, beloved, Dr. Buzzard is here. This is justice. My mama Ad has everyone's address. So this is why you're receiving this beautiful blessing of, uh, you know, a major victory. You know, all of them haters, they sitting in, in, in the crowd. They have no choice but to celebrate your wins, you know, because now what they're doing, like I said, is they're trying to, uh, they're trying to, you know, pretend now and this is when the 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 beguiling begins you know after the victory you know when you get jump up off the horse they're gonna be the first ones coming up and you know uh giving you the uh congratulations speech you know I, I always knew you'd make it but those were the main ones that was like trying to sabotage you trying to 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 discredit you talking ill of you saying you wasn't gonna make it talking about how foolish your idea was talking about how wacky your music was whatever it was and see that what's better protection god of guns you said both i'll take both alex for 500 you know what i'm talking about and this is your karma because you stood your ground what did i say that nine of sticks i was picking up the nine of sticks because of that um i forgot what two cards was there but um it was like it was giving me the nine, of, the the nine of wands, where you were protecting your energy. You set up those boundaries, and spirit is still uh, still singing in the background. You're not alone. So you was never alone. You was never alone, even when you felt like you were alone. And you knew you weren't alone because you was reading your basic instructions before leaving Earth. So you was protecting yourself with powerful psalm uh, rituals or um, p powerful psalm scriptures. Pardon me. Maybe you was even doing uh, powerful psalm um, rituals, you know, you were doing your own magic with the with the psalm rituals, you know, um, but you was definitely protecting yourself and you was also protecting yourself, defending yourself um, physically because maybe some of these people were trying to attack you as well. But I feel like you definitely were aware that you weren't alone. So you 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 faced your enemies, you you defeated. I feel like you really defeated your enemies. This is the confusion. This is the juggling act. You know, the people was doing, they was two-faced. I always get like two-faced energy. They come to you showing you one face, then they go to somebody else telling you, showing another face. So, all right. So let's go ahead and see what's coming and going out, going on for my beautiful collective yin-yang energy. Let's see what we got. All right, spirit, what we got. All right, what we got coming in, going out, going on. We get a message of love and light. And so we got blood red tears playing. This is again by Olive. So a lot of y'all definitely cried. You cried so much that you, you was crying tears, blood, you know. So see this 10, look at this, the 10 of baskets. So you all are definitely going to have uh, something very... Um, Something that you need to pay close attention to when it comes to your family. Um, I was picking up some of you all may have some very some very manipulative folks around you that could be family, friends, colleagues. And we got the Ten of Baskets here. So the Ten of Baskets is, you know, the Tens could denote an ending. Tens could also reduce to one, which could be like a new beginning. Um, but I feel like with the intuition and the crown chakra, they're telling you to be mindful, you know, of uh, some emotional manipulation that could be taking place with blood red tears. I feel you've cried a lot of tears uh, over family, over friends, over a love ship, over a connection. And I feel spirit is forewarning you to pay very close attention to these connections because these people very well may come back. Um, I'm also getting a sense that with the two and the seven, that is 11. I'm sorry, the four and the seven is 11. Some of you all could be coming into a very beautiful union with someone that is your twin flame. And you will have this happy spouse, happy house dynamic, this happy family, this happily ever after. Um, I heard blending a family. So if you have children, um, you may meet someone that doesn't and then you will be blending families or you may meet someone that does have family and your children and their children will become the best of friends and you'll meet your best friend and this will just be a beautiful um, connection. Uh, with blood red tears, 
um, I'm also feeling like uh, that could be tears of joy, you know, um, that could be tears of, of happiness as well. Um, blood is, is our DNA. So this could be speaking to you coming into union with a soulmate, with someone that is from your past life uh, that will bring joy and happiness. Only you will know um, when you tap into your higher self. So it's like, that's another reason why choose wisely is here because I feel like, um, as I always, you know, remind you all during those mercury retrogrades, it brings a lot of past energy back. And, uh, you know, this could be someone you're familiar with already or someone that you will feel a sense of familiarity with. Um, but just pay attention to your intuition and I feel everything will be okay. We have miss Robin here and this is the devil. <laughs> so what did I say? I felt funky energy. I felt it. I felt it. And that's why intuition is here in a crown chakra. So it's like spirit is telling you, you know, be mindful um, of who it is that you allow around you because there is some very tricky devilish energy. This is a very tricky energy here. And with the, the light, I feel like it's going to start through communication. You know, somebody could also be sending psychic attacks as well, but it's like you will also be able to pick up on it because you are very sensitive. As I said, I'm picking up that high priestess energy with the two, but I feel this person is also um, engulfed in magic. They could be doing black magic. They could be like a warlock or something like that. So be mindful. I feel spirit is giving you the nudges, the downloads as well to watch your walk. Um, and also to remain balanced, to use your intuition, because this three and three and one is again seven. So it's like crown is is, is definitely jumping out to me um, to use your intuition, because this could be someone um, that is very, very um it's like a shapeshifter. I just feel like this person blends in so well that you won't catch them, you know, unless you are looking at them with your first eye, because I feel this person is very much a master manipulator. Um, and with this devil here, it's like they, they already feel like they got one up on you. Um, so you have to be very mindful of, um, you know, who you will have around you. Um, with the seven, I'm getting also, uh, boundaries, you know, I'm getting the seven of wands as well, because, you know, that's about creating a protective bubble. So some of you all need to perform like a protective, um, ritual around yourselves. Maybe you need to do like a cord cutting ceremony. Um, some of you all definitely need to do like an egg cleanse. Uh, oof. I, I, I want to share with you, but I don't want to get too deep into my personal, uh, but definitely do an egg cleanse. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, when you do your egg cleanse, um, if you see bubbles at the top, that definitely is indicating that you got some evil eyes on you. If you see one in particular, you see several, that just means you have a lot of people watching you, a lot of jealousy, a lot of envy. Um, if you see like those little needles, those little strings uh, and they carry bubbles, um, that definitely is telling you that there's people that could be um, actively doing some sort of works on you, spells on you. Um, when you see clouds on the bottom, it's definitely negative energy. Um, and when you see like images through the webs, the clouds, like say for instance, you'll see like an animal image or if you see like a person's face, sometimes you'll see... Um, you know, other imagery uh, that definitely will indicate that there is someone currently actively doing some sort of spell work. So you might want to do that. Spirit is telling me to, for some of you all to uh, really uh, perform an egg cleanse. Um, if you find yourselves having certain ailments, um, like I said, out of the blue, like say, for instance, um, you just get a backache out of the blue and you know you're not doing anything strenuous, um, but it's just aching or you just get a random cramp and it won't go away or you just whatever that those are signs, you know, those are indicators that there are people working against you um, and they are sending energy away. So you have to be very mindful to send the ish back. OK, um, call your energy back, but send their energy right on back to sender. Um, and also the egg cleanse is very um, powerful because it sweeps you of all of that energy. You know, that's a very important thing to do. Um, you could do it, you know, first time initially just to get a read. Um, never look down over the cup onto the egg because whatever you just um, 
expelled from your your person into that egg it could jump right on back to you make sure you're burning sage at the time you're doing this make sure you pour a little salt in the glass with the water before you drop the egg in it make sure wherever you're working like i said you light a candle at the same time it could be a white candle it could be a blue candle it could be a candle um that you have just for your angels light that candle for protection um and be sure to uh study your egg and make sure that uh you if you you look for spots in the egg yolk you look for anything that doesn't look normal um, because those are all indicators of uh people working on you you know witchery being done um and discard of the egg you could pour it down the toilet pour some sea salt under it when you rinse out the glass i always do extra salt in it you know while i'm rinsing i rinse my hands with the salt and i burn the you know the sage in the bathroom just to expel all of that negative energy in in my house afterwards um just you know just to get rid of whatever um residual negative energy but um after you perform that initial one i would do a second one just to like do a double sweep you know so you may need to do that because i'm being told to tell you to do it but this devil here this is definitely that energy that's trying to disrupt your peace but i feel you all got the drop on this energy because you're highly in tune and i feel like your angels and guides are giving you the signs the synchronicities and the downloads with that number seven and they're telling you to protect your energy they're telling you to protect you know protect yourselves um spiritual baths nature walks protective jewelry oils you know definitely do those things to protect yourselves some of you need to do like a, a, a cord cutting um ritual ceremony um so if you know anyone that does that you might want to uh especially if it's someone you trust um if not uh you could go to uh there's a young lady that is very efficient um and she is pinky pink star um and this this she is uh sh boy when i tell you she's she's got the gift so check her out that is um definitely a plug for her um i don't even know her <laughs> but uh i i will tell you that she she knows her stuff so the things that i've done in terms of cleansing cord cutting they they absolutely work so but i digress so let's go ahead uh why is three three communication and 19 light here for my divine divine okay look at that so the divine collective this is what you got dr buzzard on the bottom of the deck so this is karma dharma this is karma so there's definitely karma being repaid to whomever is working these um these ritualistic deeds is what i heard in my mind's eye see this nine of knives this is what they're trying to cause you agony stress anxiety ruminating pining analysis paralysis but it's like you see through the 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 trickery you see through it because you already know because you have that that deeper understanding you have that connection to your higher self you have that connection straight to source so you're receiving the download you're receiving the communication someone is up in their head agonizing because whatever they're doing whatever witchcraft whatever witchery they're doing on you it ain't working it's not working you've seen the light like i said you're protected so it's like you you're still shining you're still receiving your your wish fulfillment there's still blessings happening and you're also very mindful to protect your energy to guard yourself from this because if you look there there it looks to be like apples you know and apples are what adam you know uh gave you know what um eve gave adam so that's a part of that devilishment you know the trickery you know, so it's like, don't let anyone come in duping you, you know, with their words, trying to gaslight you with their words. Um, let them fall in their own sword. You know, they're, they're speaking with a forked tongue anyway. And so we have burn playing. Um, and this is by Emma. So burn. So this person is definitely is going to get burned by their own deeds. Like this is literally like you reap what you sow. And so the agony confusion that they tried to, you know, have you engulfed in, they're now riddled with it. So, like I said, you return, you know, back to sender, whatever it is they're sending for you. I was even picking up on like psychic attacks, you know, and when you look at that, there's a skull there with all these knives and apples. So it's like somebody was definitely trying to dupe you 
and I feel like you saw through the illusion. And so we got the uh, mother of baskets, which is the queen of cups. And so this is you, you know, spirit is like, you know, take my hand. You're, you're, you're definitely um, very wise now, you know, to surrender and to take the hand of the divine and just trust the process. Patience is a form of action. So it's like you started to love yourselves. You started to work on yourselves. Look at the joy and happiness. It's like this is why this person is so, you know, it's so miserable and conflicted because look at this big old smile on the queen of cups face it's like you're so elated so overjoyed and it's because you know you you've defeated that devil you have um definitely come out of that dark night of the soul journey uh on top you know wiser stronger and so it's like you, the patience it took to go through that process of healing it's you you are definitely being acknowledged and you're definitely attracting what you deserve that's why dr buzzard is here because it is your karma to receive the blessings because you did it with grace you know you learn to trust the process you you know relinquish the need to control and you surrender to the divine and now there is opportunities that's going to bliss you because you were patient you just you chose to be patient you chose to patiently, you know, um, work on yourself, patiently work on your goals, your endeavors, heal yourself, pursue your dreams. That's beautiful. And so we have Dr. Buzzard. So, yeah, a karmic is trying to come back, you know, and that's why spirit is like, you know, look alive, beloved, because, you know, the, 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 the word the semantics, you know, that this person will be using, it is, it, it can, it can trick some of y'all. So that's why you got to stay woke. You got to keep your head on a swivel. You got to be prepared. You know, you got to, when you're ready, when you stay ready, you don't get ready. So it's like, you know, if you are in this state, state of mind where you are meditating to get things straight, um, don't ever let anybody disrupt your peace. You know, don't let anybody have the power to anger you because then that means they control you. So it's like if you are in a place of peace and joy and somebody phones you, dials you or texts you, emails you with some ridiculousness, delete it. Don't even respond. They don't even deserve a response. You don't even need to look at the phone. You shouldn't even have a phone on if you in this meditative state. It's like unplug. You've unplugged for a reason to connect with the self. So stay connected with the self. Everything external to yourself is the matrix. Ashe. So karma is coming and I feel like you could feel it you could sense it because you're in tune you're tapped in you know you have something very beautiful coming in and you're anticipating it and you have several things coming you know several things and that's why spirit is telling you like choose wisely because everything that glitters is in gold somebody returning doesn't automatically mean oh that's my person it was meant to happen see this look what fell out you got the three of swords so if you don't choose wisely this is what can happen and then we got the four of swords here See that? So spirit is telling you, stay focused on you. You know, that's what he's doing here. This is the same energy, you know, recuperating. This is even like reflecting back on the past. You know, this is that same meditative state, even though he's on his back. But here he's seated in lotus position. It's like choose wisely because you could go right back down that dark path of being hurt again, being tricked again. Having somebody play you again, having somebody toy with your emotions, having somebody gaslight, all of the same foolery because this is somebody that speaks with a forked tongue. This is not anybody that has anything else to offer. You know, this is somebody that really is just trying to um, manipulate or monopolize circumstances. And so we have here Bishop H. Mason, and this is the same card that I mentioned when I saw that 32. This is called... Um, the uh, this is the hierophant so spirit is saying you are fully aware of you know making the right decisions they want you to tap into your to your higher self remain spiritually aligned that's what meditating is you have that direct connection to source and you receive those direct downloads and so that's what this is right here um this is also telling you to remain true know your worth know your value don't submit your will to anyone um especially someone coming back uh, trying to convince you that they want to work things out because all it's going to do is lead you to pain. I feel the pain also led you to, um, you know, learning who you were, learning, um, you know, how to love yourselves. Um, that's powerful. And so we have the daughter of knives and then we have the black Herman 
And this is the magician. So the daughter of knives is like the, the um, page of knives. So someone is absolutely like studying you, just as I said. And they're studying you because I feel like you've really been um, someone that they can, could not figure out you you you're no longer that same person um you're on this new voyage this new path so this person from your past um is really has no other option than to to kind of like spy um this is someone trying to figure you out but what they discover is that you're on your way out you know um you're no longer allowing you know other people's uh actions to affect you to to um to affect you you know it's like you are manifesting your own reality you drew the awareness that you could co-create with source and that's exactly what you're doing so whatever this person is doing um it's not gonna work because you're still moving forward um i feel this person could be trying to do some magic you know uh spying as i said you know somebody kind of you know spying and and, and shape-shifting and smiling and beguiling and trying to mimic you study you mirror you uh, being manipulative, but it's not stopping your sunshine. It's not going to stop the sun from shining. It's not going to stop what the divine has to offer because you realize after coming out of this meditative state and being in tune and in touch with your Christ consciousness as that hierophant uh, to keep it moving because you know that this person's intentions aren't pure. This is the same person that caused disharmony in the past. So you've discovered like what new do they have to offer other than more disharmony and so it's like that's what you're reflecting on those are the decisions that you are making within yourself you are making the decision um that four is associated with the heart chakra so you are loving yourself now because you've become more emotionally intelligent after dealing with someone who was such you know this overbearing and pompous um energy anyway let me get one more message let me get one more message for uh, the 46 domestic harmony and positive movements forward. Let me get one more message spirit for the collective yin yang energy. We have a message of love and light. And we have Joe Scott. One is the magic number. Ain't that something? Seven of baskets. So this is someone I feel like you you have so many options. You have so much beautiful energy coming to you, and it's going to just require you to choose wisely, as the cards say here. But we got Jill Scott singing, one is the magic number. So this is telling me uh, that spirit is telling you to choose yourself. When you choose yourself, you will not be confused. You know, this seven of baskets is really like when you have one too many options and you're almost like overwhelmed because you don't know what to do, what to choose with one is the magic number and the magician being right here. Spirit is telling you don't choose anyone other than yourself. So be true to you. You know what I'm saying? Be true to yourself because whatever this person is doing, they're studying you, watching you um, and then, you know, trying to master manipulate a circumstance uh, to perhaps cause confusion, have you questioning, doubting yourself. But spirit is saying one is the magic number. When you remember what I was saying about that eight of cups, this is what this reminds me of. When you walk away from something or someone that does not honor you or value you, that is a very powerful stance and statement to make because it's showing self-love. It's showing that you love yourself more than you love that circumstance that you're not getting anything um out of you know it's like people are making all these withdrawals but they're not depositing anything so you're emotionally uh bankrupt which is why you're choosing to move on so if this person comes back you know saying all the right things using emotional manipulation as i was picking up earlier which is why this ten of cups ten of baskets is here with the 40 uh the four intuition and the seven crown chakra it's like be mindful not to just fall back in the trap of doing what is familiar uh, because technically it isn't is no longer familiar since you've been doing your work since you've been healing you've changed you know what I'm saying with that one like I said that's related to the root the base chakra so it's the death it's the death and it's the rebirth of a new you you've emerged someone different so if somebody from your past comes back same conversation same behavior same attitude same manipulative games same convert it's just same old same old then you already know one is the magic number. Don't let anybody have you up in your head, all in, in the clouds, you know, painting these fairy tales, these illusions, manipulating you. This is somebody manipulating you intentionally. 
So you have to be in your own power. Never submit your will. You know, never surrender to some other mere mortal. You be the magi and you manifest whatever it is you desire. See that? The ace of coins is here. When you choose yourself, this is what spirit is offering you. This is a blessing. This is a new beginning. This is a job offer. This is success in your business. This is financial blessings. This is expansion, opulence, growth, breakthroughs, victories, success. These are the things you've asked for. This is stability. This is also you having like emotional, financial fulfillment, growth, elevation. This is amazing, man. This is beautiful. So I feel collective. This is your reading. I, a part of me wants to get some additional messages, but we are already approaching. Oh, man, we are 140. Should I should I take additional messages? All right. Spirit is saying this is good because this is the hoodoo. So this is really like that shadow energy that I wanted to delve into, tap into. So collective a quick rundown breakdown be mindful there's going to be a lot of communication we already know mercury retrograde it brings a lot of mixed communication jarred communication skewed intentions people may come back sounding really good sounding really polished positive but it is up to you you have to make sure that you are trusting your own intuition when you engage with these individuals do not feel obligated to give your time which is like currency nowadays to someone simply because they have returned especially if everything in your spirit is telling you otherwise pay attention to that there's a reason why intuition and the crown chakra fell right underneath each other and then on top of that the ten of baskets which is dealing with your emotions which is dealing typically with your family the people you have these connections with these emotional connections and ties don't allow yourselves to be emotionally manipulated or duped. Don't allow someone to come back and have these these demands on your time and your energy. Um, one is the magic number. Jill is still sing, uh, singing this song. So make sure that you put yourselves first. This is about self-love, self-respect, integrity. Be self-disciplined. Exp express, exude, and and just just um embody the energy of someone who has mastered thyself you know because you have something beautiful coming in regardless spirit has given you this message repeatedly we saw material harvest and now we see this ace of coins which is like a brand new financial opportunity we saw the wheel of fortune so that's like something destined for you so don't allow this this magician don't allow this this very manipulative energy to come through trying to block anything from you or for you because they're going to try to have you cloudy up in your head, confused, because they're going to offer some options that are honestly, um, it's, it's like fool's gold, if you will. It, it's not real. You know, it isn't real. So don't get got. This is why spirit is telling you to take some time out. You know what I'm saying? Take some, take some time out. This is also, you know, self-love, self-care, meditating. She got little, you know, uh, little uh, leaves of lavender to, to calm and, 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 and bring her that sense of peace and, and, and uh, oneness, you know, balancing her energy. So take the time to make the right decisions because you don't want to get stuck in some sort of repeat of a cycle in this loop. You don't want to be stuck in a loop, in a, in a, um, you know, repeating the same cycles that you've worked so hard to complete, okay? Because remember, you had the karmic completion. So, it, it, and then underneath that, you also had that parenting. So this could be that person uh, very much that could be a karmic parent, you know, or this could be someone who is uh, the mother or father to your children or your child. Uh, so just be mindful to love yourselves. Be mindful of the agent provocateurs uh, Shay. so this is your reading beloved collective yin yang energy i thank you so much for tuning and tapping in um if you liked the reading if it resonated with you uh if you are new here i hope you stay a while um if you are returning you already know what it is beloveds love is love is love please be kind hit the like hit the share hit the subscribe button please family 
get your soul sister back into the algorithms. Uh, your likes are all I ask for. Your subscriptions are all I ask for. Um, that is a way to keep these videos in rotation. Um, and it's also a way for other people to, um, to, uh, come into, uh, contact with the channel, you know, to discover the channel, I should say. So, you know, that's a way you pay it forward. I pay it forward by giving you these delve, I delve deep into the messages and the return is just that you go ahead and hit that like and share. But I appreciate you all beloveds. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. Have a blessed day until next time. Ashe.